Hey guys, this is Sarah with Raven's Crochet, and my furry feline Raven is walking around. Come here, baby. Come say hi. Come here, sweetheart. She may jump in here in a minute. I just wanted to pop in and say hello and tell you, <clears throat> well, I haven't been out too much. I have been, of course, you know, doing my yarn thing, uh, but uh, not very many projects going on. Well, <laughs> that's not true. I have tons of current whips in process and I just can't seem to pick one to finish. I'm so excited about finishing all of them. I just, some of them I don't want to work on, some of them I'd rather work on before they have their deadline up and the other ones I don't want to work on, they have less than a month of a deadline left I need to get done. For instance, I have a blanket I'm working on for my sister, but I've gotten bored with the project and the color, so I just, you know, I keep switching back and forth. I'm like an, I'm an ADD crafter, OCD, whatever. Um, I like to switch back and forth sometimes depending on the stitches, depending on the type of yarn or the colorway I'm working with, but um, I've been working with a bunch of small projects right now. So I did a comparison video a while back with um, four different types of yarn and the same color and I found uh, a fifth and a sixth type of yarn to compare these with also. Um, these four here is um, the yellow stitch marker. This is the Craft Smart Value Yarn from Michaels. It's their brand of yarn. You know, like Joann's has Big Twist, Hobby Lobby has Yarn Bee, and uh, well, that's the only place I've seen yarn be. Walmart has their brands. They have a one. They have their own yarn brand now called Mainstays. Um, I haven't seen that yarn in this particular mauve color. This is like my absolute favorite color to work with. Um, to do Let's see, there's a brighter one. This one's Red Heart. The color to me just gives it away. It's a Red Heart with love. It's the colorway is called Cameo, and it's gorgeous. It's a brighter color, but you see how much of a gray tone this one has to me that is more of an antique pink and that's that's just one of my favorite colorways to work with um, as far as it comes to lighter tones so this yellow stitch marker according to my notes where did I put that thing this is the craft smart value yarn from Michaels the purple stitch marker I attached this is saver from ice yarns to me it feels and looks exactly like craft smart value yarn so if you want to try, want to try Savers yarn from Ice Yarns, then go to Michaels. If you have a Michaels in your area, you can always order from either Michaels or Ice Yarns, and you can get um, the Saver from Ice Yarns, or go to Michaels or Michaels Online. You can get the Craftsmart Value yarn. They call this colorway um, mauve, and Saver calls their colorway um, dark rose pink. And the turquoise, this is Red Heart Super Saver. They call theirs um, Cameo. And this one is Big Twist. And they call their colorway um, Rose. So Saver's Dark Rose Pink. Big Twist is called Rose. But you can see in the colorway, it's a lot different than the same colorway they, they might have been going for. So it's Big Twist, Craft Smart, and Super Saver are this same color, and this is Red Heart. The fourth and fifth, the fifth and sixth yarns I both found from Premier, but two different locations. One of them I ordered from online, from, from Premier Yarns website. The other one I found at Dollar Tree. So Dollar Tree, I was there yesterday, and yay, they had yarn. I was like, oh my gosh, the first Dollar Tree I've seen in months that, have, that had yarn. So I got a bunch of these, my favorite color. This is... Premier Just Yarn Worsted. These are all worsted wood number weight, um, number four weights, Aran worsted yarn. Uh, this is 131 yards. Mind you, it was only a dollar for this ball. So I think it's a really, really good deal. 131 yards, 120 meters, 2.11 ounce skein, 60 grams. It's 100% acrylic. All of these are 100% acrylic. But the Saver yarn from Ice Yarns is 100% Draylon acrylic. So it's been processed to be a little bit more sturdy acrylic and potentially potentially less fuzzy, even though I see the same amount of fuzz on all of the all of these yarns. 
I think the um, the big twist has the least amount of fuzz, but I mean it could look the same. It all looks pretty much the same. So anyways, <clears throat> so the Premier just yarn from Dollar Tree. I crocheted up a square. Same size square as these other ones. I used the same crochet size hook, which was a six millimeter crochet hook. And if you can see the size difference, it's just a tiny bit of a smidge size more narrow in size. I'll show you on a, one that's like an altered color a little bit. So it's a little bit smaller in size, so I don't know that how, how that happened, unless I used a 7 millimeter hook on these, which I could have sworn I used just a standard 6 size mil millimeter hook. But then I also crocheted the sixth one was the yarn I ordered from Premier's Yarns website. This is a lot darker color than I was expecting. It's got more of a red tonish to it. They call this one Rose, and the Premier Just Yarn, they also call that Rose. Let's see, am I showing you the color name on that? On the bottom of the bag. Rose, Rose. You see at the very bottom of the screen, it says Rose on the label. And then towards the top, you can see the one from Dollar Tree, it says Rose. And they're both Premier. So that's kind of weird. Maybe they made a specific colorway for their dollar stores. And they put on purpose or accidentally made a darker rose for their online store. I have no idea. They've both been tested by uh, the Standard 100 Okio text. Or Okio, whatever it is. However you pronounce it. O-E-K-O. Dash T E X confidence in textiles. Uh, it's tested and approved against 350 plus harmful substances. So you know it's safe for sensitive skin and for babies. So okay, so my final opinion on all of these squares, which by the way, these are both Premier yarns, by the way, Dollar Tree, PremierYarn.com. This one's a lot more rough and scratchy. Not anywhere near soft as the Premier yarn from Dollar Tree. The Premier Just Yarn. Much, much softer. So, I don't know how that happened, but when you do wash and dry these, these are washable and dryable, by the way. It's 100% standard acrylic. Just don't put it on high heat. Um, you can tumble dry low. You can tumble dry on high heat for maybe 20 minutes, and, and it'll be fine. It'll come out just a little bit, a little bit softer every time it's taken out of the dryer. Um, so, both yarns... Both 100% acrylic, and one of them feels more scratchy than the other, so I'm not sure how that worked. I might send them an email if I um, really care enough to do that later on. I might send Premier Yarns an email asking them why that is, because this is just the Premier Basics. And I'm, I'm trying to double check that it this too, in fact, is made out of 100% acrylic. And I'm not seeing it on the, yep, okay, it's like right there in big print, hello. I'm on my medicine, excuse me. So I do have a yarn haul too, I'll be showing you guys. I went to Dollar Tree. As I said, I got some yarn. So, but comparing all four of these squares, I have to say my favorite is the ice yarns. The ice yarns from, yeah, the saver from ice yarns because it's easy for me to get. I don't have to drive to the store to get it, although I have to wait for it. The shipping get literally, literally gets to me within a week from Turkey. Um, with all the, the mess that's going on out in the world, they use DHL shipping and it gets to me fast. The other one you could go with, if you're able to get to a, a local Michaels, um, get the Craft Smart Value Yarn. It's the same color. It's just as soft. I really don't feel any comparison at all between softness. It literally has the same amount of sheen. If you look really, really, really close, you might be able to see a smidge different. Uh, there's just like the slightest difference in color, but from a distance, I can't tell. Not one bit. It's pretty much the exact same yarn. And I color stitched marked them so I would remember with my notes 
which one's which. So my chicken scratch note card. Um, and then my next favorite one, and as far as color and softness, is the Red Heart with Love. If you get any Red Heart at all, get Red Heart with Love. It is the absolute softest, and every time you wash and dry it, it will get softer every time. And it will fuzz up a little bit. If you can see real closely, there's a small halo. But the dryer will collect some of these fuzzies and take care of that and, and keep it on low, at least. It'll keep the fuzz count low. I washed one of my really big shawls just today. That really big um, purple and green one that I showed you guys. I've And it took a lot of the peel off and the dryer took care of that. So I was really happy about that. And of course it came out a little bit softer. I did compare two other squares to the same color. One of them is, um, this one's Red Heart Super Saver. And this one is called Monet. 100% acrylic, 5 ounce skein, 141 grams, 238 yards, 215 meters. This, these are $4.99 at your local um, Hobby Lobby. And these can also be found at Walmart still, at least locally at my Walmart. I, I find like two or three of these at a time in that section. And then the other one is um, Premier, Premier Basics, and I ordered this online from their website. It is Color Impressionist. And the other info is hidden. I should have took one out, I guess. Okay, we're going to take one out because I cannot see the label. That's not cool. Okay, this is also a 5 ounce skein. 140 grams though. It's 245 yards, so it has 11. It has um, nine more yards than the Red Heart does. Uh, 224 meters. So, oh, this was 349. 349 on Premier Earns website. Much better deal than 499. You get nine more yards of it. So I first recommend Premier Yarn over Red Heart Super Saver. Now you can get Red Heart Super Saver in a pinch. If you cannot order anything online, um, just go to Walmart. Um, you can probably, I think you can find this at Joann's. And I've also seen this, like I said, at Hobby Lobby, $4.99. Uh, Premier Yarn. I think Michaels carries Premier Yarn. Actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. I don't get a chance to go to Michaels as often, but um, they do carry Premier Basics, a lot of different colorways from Michaels. And I actually did buy some of their Premier Yarn about a month or so ago. I don't know where, where it's probably in a bag over there. I've got yarn in bags all over the place. I am completely out of shelf space. You guys, I'm not kidding. I have a problem. I have a huge addiction to yarn. If there was ever an AA meeting for yarn addictors, for yarn addictions, then I need to go to that class. <laughs> hey, maybe we could all form a support group. <gasps> hey! If you got a bunch of yarn crafters living in your local area, call them up. Like, hey, we need to form a support group <laughs> and talk about this yarn addiction. And we can crochet while we're doing it. Okay, so anyways, the Premier Basics, I love. I recommend more than the Red Heart, especially the Red Heart Super Saver. Not the Red Heart with Love, per se, because the Red Heart with Love has some different colorway options that Premier Basics does not. So you pick and choose based on what color you need and which one is more available to you and what your budget is. So that's generally how, how I shop. So the comparisons, this one is the Red Heart Monet. This one is the, is the Premier Impressionist. You see first off the bat, there is a color difference. I tend to go towards darker colors myself. This would be great. The Red Heart here, this would be great in a hat or a bag or a cardigan but this one's a little scratchy like I said it's it's this is Red Heart Super Saver it's not the Red Heart with Love this is Red Heart Super Saver I don't know if I have a Red Heart with Love laying around me I don't no these are all Red Hearts I've got laying around me Super Savers have like the silver heart on them and it and sometimes it says Red Heart I love this yarn those are the softest red hearts to get. So anyways, um, 
Red Heart, Premier. Red Heart would be good for hats, bags, cardigans, stuff like that. Stuff that doesn't really immediately go against your skin. Since this one is softer and it's lighter in color, it's, it'd be perfect for baby blankets, baby sweaters, hats and booties, stuff like that. And then, um, you know, some, some fall tops. You could make like a, an, an Easter cardigan with this or a little bonnet. Or you could make a small Easter dress to go over a white gown. That would be really pretty. Um, so many things you could do with this yarn. Um, the brighter colors are more fun and more neutral for babies. And I just think this would be perfect for baby stuff in general. Because it is so much softer and lighter in color than the Red Heart. So depending on the scratchiness or the softness of the yarn, what color you're going for, that will also help determine your project. So those are the projects I would do with these two different yarns. Baby stuff, things close to your skin, scarves, mittens, stuff like that. This I would I would make I would use for a hat totally. Um, a project bag, maybe a pillow cover, um, some leg warmers to wear over your to wear over your leggings. Those would be good too. Lots of different things you can do with both of the yarns depending on softness and roughness. But like I said, every time you wash and dry Red Heart Super Saver, um, dry it fully in the dryer. Um, that's what I did with all of these squares. All of these squares, I put them in the dryer full term on high heat too, just to test their durability. And yes, while, while they all have the pretty much the same amount of fuzz, this Premier yarn, especially the multicolors, don't have as much fuzz. So if the baby, you know, puts the blanket in, in its mouth, it's, it's not going to pull back much fuzz. So um, that's what I recommend. I am a true fan now of Premier Yarns after making all these sample squares. That's a good thing to do. Uh, make your favorite size square. You can make a circle. You can make um, a mug rug. Or just some kind of small project so you can wash and dry it. Testing its durability before you spend all that time making a huge large project. Mm -hmm. That's the first tip for you right there, especially if you're beginning. Make a swatch. See if you like the gauge with the hook you're using. Buy at least three different size hooks to begin with. Use all of them to make a swatch and then run them through the washer and dryer. See if they hold up. Um, and of course, if the ball band has directions on hand washing it and laying, and laying flat to dry, then by all means do that with your favorite um, washing detergent. So a couple things I've been working on. I'm going to make a separate video for my yarn haul because I'm already 18 minutes in. So I'm just going to show you a couple things I've been working on. And then my next video I will be showing you my yarn haul from um, Dollar Tree. I got a, a few different things. So I got this Puzzle Baby yarn from Ice Yarns. I showed you guys this in my haul um, a while back. If you haven't seen it, I will leave a link for it in the description box below. Or you can go back and look through my videos. I used a 5mm hook. I bought this crochet hook from Joann's. It's a nice metal all the way through. Silicone grip. And I'm just making a basic granny square. Just a basic granny square. I have a friend. Um, he's having a baby in December. And I have another sister who is pregnant. She's very young now. And... We're just going to leave it at that. She's very, she's way too young to be pregnant, but I'm making a blanket for her. So I'm hoping she'll either adopt or keep it in the family and then the baby can have the blanket. So um, I'm making one for my sister and one for my friend who's having his baby with his girlfriend in, in December. He's very young too. He is like 19, 20. I think he's 20. I've known him since he was a kid. Since he was at least... I think eight or nine. I've known him for like 15 years. Um, so he's he's up there a little bit. He's a young adult, but he's still young. So, and then the other thing I'm working on is uh, this hat for Hat Not Hate. I'm a little, a little late in the game getting this hat made, but um, I have this yarn I bought this yarn specifically to make two hats for Hat Not Hate. It's Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo. There is 482 yards in this thing. 
So that will definitely give me enough for two hats. And then whatever left uh, leftover yarn I may have, I can make a pom-pom for one of them. So one of them can go for a girl, one of them can go for a boy. And the pattern I'm using is from Crystal at Bag o Day. I will leave the link for this in the description box below as well. This is one of her unisex hats. I just like the pattern. Just a bunch of ribbing increases, some single crochets in the back loop, some more, um, some more double crochet ridges, and and then a few more rows of the single crochet, and then to um, and then I think a few more rows of ridging, and then around a single crochet to finish it off. So I'm more than halfway done. I just got a little excited about this new light I wanted to play with. Um, it's nighttime where I'm at. It's past 11 o'clock, but um, I decided to take the day off because I was hurting still. Uterus this time, you know, it's always something. But um, I'm feeling better. I took some Tylenol and I'll be back to work tomorrow. And I think that's all I have for now. I really appreciate you guys watching. And just thanks for being here and thank you for subscribing and supporting my channel and leaving your really, really nice comments. Keep them coming. Um, and just hit the like button if, if you don't want to subscribe. That's totally okay. It is free to subscribe. And um, just uh, do your thing, guys. And I hope everyone is having a great crochet day. Bye.